Hi, this is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More, and I'm going to show you a new routine that I just did, and it was very relaxing, and I hope you really like this, and tell me what your thoughts are on this. Um, you can subscribe, leave comments, hit the like button if you want. If you like something about it or don't like something about it, I'd just like, like to get your impression and go from there. So please enjoy yourself and just get ready for a new routine again. We'll be sharing some more with Nicole Lee, Health Beauty, and more. Beauty and more. And today, here's a short yoga sequence, yoga size with me. I hope you enjoy it. So get on your mat and let's get going. Okay, we're going to start off with a little bit of stretching with our arms. Up we go with our hands, our palms face together, and we stretch, and then back down to our side. And we're going to breathe in as we come up through our nose. And breathe out as we come down with our arms back to our side. So let's give it a try here. Bring your arms up. Stretch. And back down to your side. Arms up. And we stretch. And bring them back down to your sides. I'm going to have you do some waist exercises. We're going to be bending from one side to back to the center, and then back to the other side, up to the center, and just follow along. Stretch to the right, up. Stretch to the left, and back up. Again, to the right, up, and to the left, and back up. To the right, and up, to the left, and up. Now, get your feet in a good position where you can balance yourself. Just try some balancing exercises. If you're able to do a really difficult one, if you're really good at balancing, then you can maybe even put your feet parallel. But I would encourage you to try it first this way. Put the right foot in front with the left foot behind, as close as parallel as your body senses is comfortable for you. And then if that's too easy, close your eyes. So try the balancing. See how your body's doing. If you're going, whoa, 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 whoa then you're going to need to spread your foot apart a little further. So do what's comfortable for you. The further apart your feet are, the easier it is. I'm not really bending my knees either. I'm concentrating on focusing my balance here. That's what this is all about. If you have to have your arms out, that's okay. The main thing is that you're working on proprioceptors in the brain and the, stib the, the stibular canal. Uh, all those have to do with balance. So try balancing this way with the foot in front and see how you're doing. Okay. Now let's just switch sides. The foot that was in front is now behind. You might find it's easier on one side than the other. You might check out the floor you're on. Is it stable? Is it flat or is it bumpy? Because that really makes a difference. Try your balancing on the other side and just notice if there's any big difference from one side to the other. It's too easy. Move them closer to parallel. Okay. 
Everybody's going to look different. I would say if your balance is very challenged for you, have something sturdy nearby that you can grab hold of. I have this right here for this next one. I'm going to put all my weight on my left side, and I'm going to lift my right leg, that I'm ready to assist when necessary. Keep your balance. Try, try to do this. See how you can do it. All your weight's on one side, but it takes a lot of concentration to, to be on one leg instead of two, but you can do it. Just keep practicing. It takes time. I'm challenged myself. So now I'm going to turn around so I have the same support handy. And I'm going to put my weight all on my right leg and slowly get my balance and then lift the foot off of the mat. It's too easy. Close your eyes. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Now let's do a little stretching with our legs apart. And we're going to go straight down to the mat. Go as far down as you can. If you need to have like a pillow or some something flat, preferably a book or a block, would be great. For those that can't reach, that's okay. Some people are going to just come to here. You just do what you can to stretch the back of your leg muscles and then get your palms close to the mat as you can if you're flexible. I'll try walking your hands out in front of you. Give it a good stretch. And don't forget to breathe. And then bring your hands, walk them back. Walk your feet back together. Toe heel, toe heel. Get down and a fold. Forward fold right now. We're going to go a half fold from here. The, you can, your hands could might look like this or they may, whatever's comfortable. I have mine down here. I'm going to keep my neck forward while I'm doing this. Now down again to the forward fold. And back to a halfway fold. And breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do one more down. And a halfway fold. Now bend your knees. Let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. So you're in mountain pose. Bring your arms back up again. Stretch, and this time up on our toes. And back down with your arms. Great. Okay, now let's bend. Come back on here on the mat. Tabletop position. Feet apart. Should have the alignment of your knees with your feet. About hip width apart. Grounding ourselves and our fingers are spread apart. So we're really supporting ourselves. 
And I have my feet like this, as you can see. They're not curled, they're just flat. Check your body, see if you're in alignment. And then breathe in and come back. Forehead rests right here on the mat. And stretch. And then come back up. Good. Let's go back again. Take your time. Stretch back all the way back till you get your forehead back down on the mat. Great. And then back up again. Now let's try doing it with our knees apart and our feet touching. In this position. Come back. Move forward as far as you can. Comfortably go. And then back. Let's go back up again. Take your time. Go forward as far as your body will allow you to. And then come back again. Breathe. Let's go like this. We have our forearms in front. I'm going to change positions and have my legs back like this. And I am going to kick up with the back and straighten those knees. I'm supporting myself with my forearms now. Down on your knees. Rest for a minute. Let's do that again. Come on up on your forearms. Good job. Okay. Back here again. Tabletop position. Cat cow. Breathe in with your back arch um, sagging and out through your nose, out through your mouth when you're when you're in this position. In through the nose, out through the mouth, in and now out. Now crossing back with my legs. I'm going to be sitting in cross-legged position. And I'm going to stretch forward again. Now I'm going to come over to the right, twist this way, and stretch. Now back to the center and stretch. And over to the right, stretch. Which, so that instead of my, if I had my right leg in front, now I'm going to put the left one in front. And I'm going to sit and do the same thing, only using a different positioning of my feet and legs. Stretch forward. It might be tighter on one side than the other. It's usually those hip rotators. And then we'll come over to the side. Come forward with your arms. Your hands should be stretched. Back to center again. Over to the left side. Stretch that. Feel, what, feel it in your back, your waist, and maybe even your hip flexors. You'll probably feel it in your low back. Good job. Now, I'm going to lay on my back. I'm going to take my knees, my uh, feet. My knees are up, but my, I'm trying to pull my uh, feet towards my butt about, oh, about hip width apart, my feet are. 
and I'm going to have my hands do some of the work uh, to help me while I do a bridge, a small bridge here, just lift up, do pelvic tilt first, that's flattening your back, and then lift it, lift, 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 tighten everything, feel that stretch, feel it on the top of your, of your legs, your thighs should be tight, this will help relax them all. And then come back down. If you can't stay up there, just come back down. Again. So you should be gentle. Shouldn't hurt. Good stretch though. Up we go. And down. And back up. And back down. Tighten the buttocks this time. And down. My hands are helping me too. Putting, pressing into the earth with my the palms of both hands. And breathe. Okay, relax your legs. Take your right leg towards your chest and stretch it. Now let's open the leg to try to straighten it. Keep your hands here supporting your back of your leg right under your knee as you pull towards your chest, pulling your knee towards your chest, stretching the hamstring on your right leg. And breathe. Now relax your knee and your leg back on to the mat. Let's take the same, do the same thing with the left leg, pulling it to the chest. And then straighten as far as you, it'll go comfortably. Once you're there, you want to pull that knee towards your chest. Stretch the other hamstring. All those muscles should be, you should feel it. It shouldn't hurt. A little bit of pain is okay, but not, not too much. Just a little bit. The tightness is good. Because we're trying to ease the, the tension in those muscles. Relax. Relax them. They'll be more flexible. Now let go. Oh. And let that leg just unwind and take both knees this time to the chest. Hug them into your chest. Rock from side to side. A little rock of your spine. And cross your, your feet. Grab the outside of both feet and get ready for some rock. Roll. Oh, no, I'm on a bump, so I'm going to have to move forward here. Okay, get yourself in a place where you can do these. Rock and roll. Up and forward. Okay, back up and forward. Okay, another one. That. I'm going to go over the bump. Just like riding a rabbit here in this little apartment. But we make do with what we got. Anyway, let's do a little bit of... Uh, Pigeon, one-legged pigeon stretches. The leg behind me, the top of that foot is on the mat right now, and the one in front is folded, and I'm using my palms to support my weight of my torso, and I'm stretching. It's stretching the left um, quadricep muscles. You should feel that, that stretch. If you sit at a computer a lot or at a desk a lot, you just don't get a lot of stretching in that area. So this is really one way to help alleviate that tightness. Now let's switch legs. Yeah. As before, one leg might be tighter than the other, and that's, that's just totally normal. 
you're going to help yourself out by doing these, though. This is going to really help stretch you out, make you feel better about what you're doing for yourself. It's all healthy and helpful and supporting yourself. You'll be a better person for it. You'll feel better about what you're doing. Because you'll have less pain. You'll be happier. Okay, good job. Now I want to get us and get a pillow or something for your head to relax on. For this final pose, it's just um, corpse position. You're probably familiar with this one, where you're laying flat on your back, your arms are out to your side, and you just let go of all your problems and you just relax. Feel good that you did this today. Or tonight, whatever time it is, doesn't matter. You're going to be in a much better place because you took care of yourself and you took the time out to pamper yourself and treat yourself. Daily routines like this are very, very good for you, very helpful. It helps you unwind. It helps you relax. Letting go of all the stuff. Don't, don't worry about anything. Don't think about what you need to do next or what you should have done. Just let it go. And that relaxes your body, your, your mind. It relaxes your muscles. Life will go on. Just let it go. It's the best part. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me today in this fun time together and doing some good yoga sizing. And this is Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More. And don't forget to subscribe.